Okay, in this video, we're going to be doing a 15 month tasting of a batch of lemon lime wine that I made. And well, I forgot about the 12 month tasting altogether. So we're going to play catch up. Hi, I'm Charles, and welcome to DIY Fermentation, your site for doing fermentation on a shoestring budget. Now, I actually had the opportunity to taste this wine several months ago. Uh, at the time of the tasting, it wasn't like an official tasting. It was like, okay, let me crack open a bottle of wine. This one looks okay. Let's try that. And gave it a shot. And my impressions at the time were it's, uh, it was just an okay wine, which is probably why I did not do the 12-month uh, tasting video on it. I just simply forgot about it. So, again, we're going to try and find out if the additional time, I think at least four months of additional time, has improved this wine any. I mean, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't bad. It's just that it wasn't all that, you know, as far, in terms of making uh, a, another batch of this, probably I would not have done it at that time. So, again, because this was a, uh, hey, you forgot to do a video on this sort of thing, let me get right to it and let's get this one out the way. I had promised myself that I would be using this corkscrew more often. In fact, <laughs> let, let, let me try it now. All right. Nope, not too far. Let's try it now. Nope, we're too far. Let's try it now. All right. All right. Interesting. This was one of the shorter corks, too. <laughs> Accidents happen. What can you say? Now, the trick is to keep an accident from becoming a catastrophe, which is what would happen if this cork were to slip through the neck and into the bottle because it's such a huge pain getting that out. There we go. <sighs> All right. You always got to do that sniff test because you never can tell when something goes wrong. You might not want to try tasting this. All right, first thoughts. Uh, fairly clear. I can see just a slight amount of sediment got picked up. I mean, it wasn't like a layer of sediment or anything like that, but I can see little particles of sediment floating around. Uh, let's see. Born date 9-2020. Had an AVB of 15.7%. I think this was back in the day when I was striving for those high AVB levels before I before I learned better. <laughs> but okay, lemon lime wine. Uh, this one was not, this was also before I started pasteurizing my wine as well. So, on the nose, you get. Definitely you get lemon. What you're not getting, double check. You, at least on the nose, you're really not getting that 15.7% AVB. Unless you inhale deeply enough, then it, it has kind of like a, um, before I say it, I better be sure. If I had to categorize it, it's almost like a uh, rubbing alcohol smell. I mean, we're talking way back in the back end. So it's not like, it's not foremost and prevalent. All right, let's see what we got here. Mm. That lemon lime flavor sure kicks in real quick. <laughs> no doubt about that. 
definitely back sweetened properly for my personal taste. It's a bit, it's a bit, it's kind of on the sweet side, which is cool for this wine. One more time. You know what, this would be great. This would be great chilled, or better yet, I can see serving this over ice. It's got that real punchy lemony flavor. Uh, it definitely it tastes better than, as I recall from the last time I tasted it, which was pretty mediocre at best. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I wasn't too impressed with it. Hold on. That lemon, that lemon flavor definitely cuts through. Uh, a lot of the citrus, uh, I guess the citric acid, since I didn't use an acid blend, uh, definitely will clean your tongue. <laughs> no doubt about that. It doesn't really give you that 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 real pucker feeling that you would get eating, say, uh, uh, just a plain raw lemon. But uh, no, that lime kicks in. Um, It really does taste like a nice, sweet lemon eye. If I can spit it out here. A lemon lime lemonade. Limeade? Lemonade? Lemon. It's it's one of those. But basically it tastes pretty decent. It it has it has improved with age. <laughs> Cause I mean I can see myself making this again. Whereas a couple of months back, I wasn't going to make this again. This was like a one and done sort of thing. But no. Nice and nice tangy, nice tart. You can't really call it tart because it's sweet. But that tang does, does kick in. The only downside to this is that, yeah, during the, during the inhalation, while you're taking that sip, uh, as I said before, you do get kind of a, and the only thing I can uh, compare it to again was like rubbing alcohol smell. Uh, it's not, I mean, you really can't really taste it. And when you're smelling it or inhaling it, uh, it's not, once again, it's not foremost and present. It's kind of like way, way in the back. And in, in, in your mind, you're saying, what, what does that smell like? What, did, what does that remind me of? And yeah, rubbing off all is what it reminds me of. But all things being said, <laughs> it's not going to stop me from finishing this. This is not bad. How many bottles of this do I have left? I made five bottles. I think I drank one or two just to free up some bottles. And there's this one. Uh, I don't know, maybe if I'm lucky, I've got two left. Hopefully, I've got one left. If not, i got to find a way of preserving this one for, for Nono to try out. But hold on. Yep, chilled, maybe over ice. And this is a winner. There we go. Again, uh, a few incidences aside, uh, be prepared to be surprised every time you try your winemaking endeavors. And if it doesn't taste like it's something you want to drink early on, give it more time. <laughs> time will improve everything. <laughs> so again, a uh, short video, and I'll see you in the next upcoming video. Oh, by the way, before I forget, don't forget to click that subscribe and notify buttons once again. Uh, becoming a member to help support this channel helps. Becoming a Patreon to help support this channel helps. And picking up any of that merchandise you see on the bottom shelf, that will definitely help this channel. So again, until then, see you in the next video.